received some information yesterday that this third woman, you know, was coming forward, and you can't, you have to imagine that that's not going to be helping Ross Mir Creamy at this point. Joining me live right now is former prosecutor with the San Francisco District Attorney's Office, uh, Jim Hammer, to sort of weigh in on what all of this means. Now, this woman apparently is going to be filing a complaint either with the police department or the DA's office, alleging some sort of abuse, possibly physical, that happened during the course of their relationship. Right. This can't be good for Mir Creamy. It's terrible news for a defendant. I mean, if the DA can get this into court, and that's a big if, uh, the jury would then see a pattern of this kind of behavior from what we hear at least in press reports seem to be similar. Anger followed by some kind of physical violence. So again, if a judge lets it in, and that's a huge question, it'd be devastating evidence against Russell. Are you going to be able to fulfill your duties as sheriff? And he came away from the meeting saying, you know, Ross said that he would consider it, but then Ross says, no way, I'm not, I'm not going to be taking pay. But how is it possible that we have two different stories? Because you have two different people. That, what, what's going on here is this. Ross has said unequivocally he will not step down. He's going to fight the charges. In fact, he's demanded a speedy trial. So that's as strong as you can get, and it's going to happen in the building right behind you. The person who holds the real cards, though, now is Mayor Ed Lee. Ed Lee has the power under the city charter today, if he wants to, to suspend Russ McRimi from office. What that would set in motion is a parallel procedure where the Ethics Commission in San Francisco would hold a trial. And then the evidence from that trial would go to the Board of Supervisors, where three-quarters of them would have to vote to throw him out of office, throw Ross McCreamy's entire life even more chaos at this point. And have we ever seen anything like this happen before? It is really pr pretty un unprecedented in San Francisco. Uh, to have a law enforcement official charged with crimes. We had the Fajita Gate scandal, if you recall, about 10 years ago, and that was on, on this level. But again, an elected official just sworn into office where the mayor holds all the cards in terms of putting him on suspension or not. So it's going to be a pretty exciting next 30, 45 days. Oh, uh, Ross